it actually has sensors um, that measure vibrations in a uh, live honeybee colony on the honeycomb of a honeybee colony. So it can actually measure the activity and the, uh, the sounds, if you like, that the bees produce inside of a colony. And then there's a live uh, Wi-Fi link to the hive where these sounds and vibrations inside of the hive are translated into a soundscape that you can hear around us now on the hive. <laughs> The um, soundtrack reflects the activity of the actual beehive. At the same time also there are a thousand LEDs in this structure and the uh, intensity and activity of the uh, glow of these LEDs also reflects the activity in the beehive. So if you're standing here you actually get a good sense of uh, the activity of a live beehive and you feel connected to what's going on inside of a bee colony. Uh, if, if a bee gets hit by a drop of rain and its, uh, its wings and its, its hairs get wet, uh, then that really increases its body weight and it cools it down and uh, it will um, make it more difficult for it to fly. And you will often, in rainy weather, you will often see bees that have uh, gotten stuck on a flower and uh, if they've gotten wet and cold, they can't fly off anymore. And if they don't warm up eventually, they might actually die in that case. What a lot of people are not aware of, but what we're also trying to emphasize here at Q with the hive and our interpretation that we're doing around the hive is that the honeybee in the UK is just a single species, um, but actually there are over 250 additional species of bees in the UK, and most of these are called solitary bees. in this nesting chamber she will deposit pollen first and then she will lay an egg on top. Uh, she will close up the nesting chamber with special materials she is collecting and leave and then the larva inside the young bee will develop um, all on her own. It's just like us taking antibiotics, perhaps, that, that some of these plant compounds um, actually reduce um, the severity of, of diseases in, in bees. Um, it could also be that in some cases, um, compounds that the bees collect um, could have an impact on the um, hygiene in the hive. So it's known in honeybees that, for example, uh, honeybees collect propolis, which is often the uh, resin of trees, and that can have antiseptic properties. We are isolating those compounds and then we can use those uh, substances to conduct experiments in the lab. So we actually um, raise our own uh, colonies of bumblebees. So at the moment our research really focuses on bumblebees, which are uh, very important pollinators in the UK as well and worldwide. And we maintain live colonies of bumblebees in the lab and we can feed them with the compounds that we are interested in. And at the same time, we can also infect them uh, with known diseases um, that are problems to, to bees. And then we can test whether these compounds might actually reduce the severity uh, or infectiousness of, of these diseases in bees.